hello friends very good morning to all of you so yeah we have completed the installation as well as configuration of that open dj directory server now we are uh, we need to jump to pf14 that is our data store configuration so yeah i'll just uh, uh, we'll go to the ping filter admin console and we can just create a, like a, a one of the data store that means basically we just need to connect ping filter it to that directory right so we'll just need to uh, give the local host address uh, the cn whatever we created right uh, during open dj directory server cn equal to directory manager so the same user and password we need to give here and we just need to make a connection between ping filter to that directory server right so we just need to create one data store uh, in ping filter right so yeah and i'll just uh, give you some uh, we can just see some discussion around also on data store so let's quickly jump to the data store section yeah let's begin Yeah, so let's uh, quickly uh, open the admin node where are like basically uh, ping fed admin node running is running on Windows machine, right? So let's open that machine quickly and then we can just uh, yeah try to create a data store. That means basically we are just building the uh, uh, what I can say a connect a connectivity from ping fed to that directory server what we have configured in the last video in the pf13 right so let this to open okay close this I close cmd let's come to pc open this google yeah let me remove this to the right hand side okay before going to this like i just uh, want to show you uh, quickly a uh, ppt on this like it's just like a few things we can discuss and then we can quickly jump to ping fit red or data store thing right okay so yeah what it says here like ping fit red connectivity with external data source right and the data source in our case we are trying here that's open dj right but you can just go for any other right as as it is mentioned right it can be an active directory data store it can be a database right like whether oracle database or ms sql or mongodb or any other database right or it can be a specific specific means like it can be a like a oracle directory server it can be azure active directory like that right it depends on your project right or on your like uh, yeah how you're building the things now you have there is one inbuilt data store which is hsql db if you remember that uh, in the time of like in configuration i shown you right so that's a basically inbuilt data store ping fed have which is installed like once you install the ping fit server right that's basically that's a internal database and what uh, what we are storing there basically the administrative account right so when you are logging to the ping fit right console you are getting administration page right where you are putting the administrator id and administrator password right so that is going to store in the hsql db only so the main purpose of data store is to fetch the attributes of a specific user which is present in the directory server right that's true only so that's why we are building the data store, right? That, so that ping federate can able to verify user credentials by connecting to that directory. Also, it can able to fetch the information of user, like user email address, user first name, last name, country, or any other details, right? And then it can send to, basically to the application in the form of token, right? And then application can consume that token and authorize the user, right? That's how basically things are working. Let me show you a quick one diagram. I just draw here in the app.diagrams.net again, right? So, yeah. Uh, just a second, yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is a kind of rough diagram, right? Like, uh, take an example, right? So, user, right? User just going to the browser and trying to access Salesforce application, right? Okay. As me, we discussed this di this diagram earlier also, but I just, to, just want to revise you uh, because we are just going to data store, right? So we just understand, we can relate more, right? What What is the use of data store and why we are doing that in ping federate, right? So yeah, so here user just going to the browser and trying to access Salesforce application, Salesforce web application, right? Now Salesforce is not going to handle the authentication. So it redirect a user to ping federate via browser only, right? So it can just send a SAML request to browser and then browser to that ping federate, right? Now ping federate have the capability of verifying the user credentials, right? But how ping fed can verify? Because ping fed is not storing a user credential, right? Username, password. So how ping fed can able to verify, right? For that only, we need to connect to some other uh, directory server 
where exactly user information is stored, right? As you can see in the example I shown you, right? Directory server, database, Azure AD, Oracle directory server, like that. So it can be any of the directory server where exactly user reside. User not reside here, right? User reside in any of this directory server. And Pingfeder has to connect to this directory server to verify your user credentials as well as fetch the user information and generate the SAML token and send back to the Salesforce application. So Salesforce application can able to authorize the user by just uh, doing the validation from their own data uh, like uh, own database right salesforce cloud in the, in the cloud whatever their user profile they have on that basis right so pingford right have a capability if you can say if you can just understand in a layman way right pingford can give you a page like username password right but while you enter the username password how pingford can able to verify right because user is not present here so that's only ping that's because only pingford has to connect to a directory server right where exactly user ID password stores, right? Now you can just ping can in the ping login page, you can enter your ID and password. Now using in the ping we can understand like, uh, like in PF 15, that is a PCV password credential validator, right? So using that ping basically verifying the ID and password, right? But user, but where the information is stored in the directory server, right? So we are going line by line, right? That's why, right? So first we are trying to understand the data store. That data store means like uh, the connective. Uh, first, we are basically connecting from Ping Federal to an external data source that is Active Directory or database like that. In our case, we are just trying to connect to Open DJ Directory server. Once that is done, then we'll try to understand in the in the PF15 PCV password credential validator configuration, right? So how basically like Ping Federal is going to verify a user ID and password, right? Okay, so Ping Federal can connect to this, and then only it can verify, right? So the the main motto is here is to how uh, like the user information right that's all uh, after that only you can able to do anything right you can able to play around with the user uh, like uh, uh, like uh, role information uh, or the whatever the information user have right basically you can just send that in the form of token you know, or you can verify a user on that basis right so for that only uh, data store is required right so that it can connect to some external data source and then ping federate can basically talk to that right for verifying for fetching the information like that okay so i think you understand somehow so let's let's try to go to the ping federate okay so this is our admin node now what i can do like because uh, uh, in this server only our open digit directory server is also installed right so we can try to connect from this server to open dj via localhost also right i'll show you right so let's do one thing like let's open the services of windows to just see that whether our open dj is running or not yeah Because if you remember, we installed our open DJ as a Windows service, right? So let's see that. Let's put open DJ. Okay, yeah. You can see open DJ server. Okay, it's running automatic. Okay, so it's currently running. You can able to see the details like this. Okay. The path to executable we have. Okay. Open DJ service.exe. Then you have the start type automatic and description all. Okay. Log on dependencies and yeah. So yeah, it's basically installed uh, as a uh, services Windows service. So yeah, we can see that it's fine. It's running. Okay, you can refresh from here also. It's in running status, right? Running state, I can say. Let's close this. Now let's go to open. Let's open the Ping Federate console, right? Then only we can connect to uh, create a data store, right? To basically connect to uh, this Open DJ directory server from Ping Federate. So let me go to this website HTTPS. Okay, this is our default address and pingfit server. This is our IP address and then with the port number where pingfit admin console is running 9999. Now let's put the ID and password. Sorry. Okay, yeah, it's connected now. Let's quickly jump and just uh, check the cluster status so that it can verify that our uh, engine is also running. Okay, yeah, so this is our administrative console and this is our engine, right? 10128047666, right? That's on Linux machine, so it's also running. It's, it looks good, okay? Now let's go to system. Under system, you can see you have a data store, right? What it says, connect to data store to retrieve attributes and validate credentials, as I told, right? Two things, to just fetch user information and do the validation of user, right? So by default, we have this provisional DS that I told you that's a HSQL DB, right? Where you can like uh, internal database where you have the administrator account uh, stores, right? With the ID and password. 
now let's go and create a new data store right so let's put a name as uh, open dj open dj select a type right now when, once you select a type you can see that you have multiple option here right you have a database option you have a directory option you have a ping one ldap gateway option you have the aws dynamic uh, sorry dynamo db you have the ping one data store 2.6.1 i think yeah and then you have the rest api so all these methods uh, type basically ping fed is giving you default we, you can have a customization option uh, always but as default you can getting you are getting these all types so based on this type you can just basically create your data store right so for us in our case we can go with the directory ldab okay you remember that we installed that open dj on a ldab only right 389 port now go next it will just ask few options so host name right so host name is like uh, it should be the address of uh, like where the directory server is running so it's running on this machine only right so we can put as a local host local host and colon 389 right where our LDAP port is running right 389 tags uh, uh, not required let's add this okay now uh, LDAPS is not, we are not going for LDAPS and start TLS is disabled for us, right? If you remember, we just disabled uh, at the time of installing the open DJ server, right? Use DNS SRV record, follow LDAP reference river. LDAP type you can choose as a, a generic, okay? It should not a ping DS, ping directory, Oracle unified, Oracle directory. It's not active, right? It's a generic, okay? It's not AD. So you can put as a generic. Authentication method, put a simple. Uh, Credential storage internally managed user DN and password. So user DN, if you remember that, just put like what we have given there while you are installing and configuring our open DJ directory server, right? So CN equal to directory manager and just give the password. Same password. Okay. It looks fine. Let's go for advanced option. Okay. Test connection on return, test uh, connection on borrow. Okay, no, not required. All those things, and these are the default uh, settings. Leave this for now, not required. Let's go to click on done. Let's come down, click on next. Okay, and just try to save it. Let's see what is happening. Yeah, it is saved basically now. Now, your data store is fine. You understand the data store concept? Two things. Very, uh, verifying the user and fetching user attribute and we have configured the open dj with ping federate now okay uh, you have multiple option like you can configure database and all but yeah we are just going with this open dj directory server like as ldap type is a generic okay and uh, now we need to test right the connectivity we have configured basically now we need to test right and then uh, like you can see next to next like uh, maybe after three to four videos when we go for the application onboarding you can see how we are going to use all those things right so you will understand the different different concepts of ping for right but just go step by step okay so let's click on this open dj now you have the option like just go to ldap configuration and you will see the option of test connection right so it can just basically uh, uh, give you a status success or failure right whether it being federated is able to connect to that directory server or not right just click on test connection what it says connectivity test was successful right that means ping federate admin node is, is capable to connect to that directory server right so we have the now capability to connect to directory server and create data store and do we can do the uh, different different configuration now right once we have the connectivity stored now we can just build multiple things on that and then yeah you can see in the in the next two next videos so yeah i think this is done i think data store part is done we have uh, i just uh, shown you some diagram and yeah some idea and we have configured open dj also so this is done so let's click on save and let's do the cluster management as i told you right to replicate the changes on our engine we need to replicate this okay this is done so basically the changes are replicated to our engine node also right this is the engine node right because engine node is the server which is going to handle the authentication request not the admin right so yeah this is all about data store i think uh, you understand if you have any confusion or any any question please put in the comment section i'll definitely try to answer that as early as possible and yeah uh, please just uh, uh, set up your lab if you have not set up yet and yeah just go uh, uh, like as i am going right just go step by step 
and you will definitely understand the ping fitted concept right and uh, if you learn ping fitted I, I i i basically like hope that you are able to understand the other product easily right the octa and agility right the cloud product because they they just made the product very simple i can say uh, easy to understand and easy to implement uh, compared to ping fitted right uh, but ping fitted is really just uh, uh, giving you uh, like a very good idea in the initial like uh, uh, how i access management works right and especially you need to start with on premise so that you can get a very good idea on the infrastructure also right so ping fitted is really a very good start to understand the uh, field of access management and then you can just explore octa and azure ad also right okay so let's close the video and let's connect to the next like pcv configuration on pf15 okay thank you